Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. How do I verify my identity for IRS? So you're wondering how to verify your identity for the IRS? This is an important step to ensure your security and access to IRS online services. First, you need to create an ID.me account if you don't already have one. Use your personal email address for this, as it needs to match the email address on your IRS application. Once you've created your account, you'll need to set up multi-factor authentication, MFA, to add an extra layer of security. Next, you'll have two options to verify your identity, self-service or a video call with a live agent. For both methods, you'll need a few things, a mobile phone or computer with a camera, a government-issued photo ID, like a U.S. driver's license, state ID, passport or passport card, and your social security number or individual taxpayer identification number ITIN if you don't have a social security number. If you choose the self-service option, you'll go to the IRS application you want to access and select verify with ID.me. Then sign into your ID.me account and follow the prompts to upload your government issued ID. You'll also need to take a video selfie to confirm that the person in the selfie matches your ID. After that, Enter your social security number and review the information to ensure it's accurate. If you prefer a video call, you'll select Video Call. After signing in to your ID.me account, you'll then connect with a live agent who will guide you through the process of verifying your identity without needing to upload a selfie. In either case, after verifying your identity, you'll need to consent to share your information with the IRS. You'll receive an email from ID.me with instructions on how to complete this step. It's important to note that you only need to verify your identity once, and then you can use your ID.me account for the IRS and any other services that accept ID.me. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.